Top 10 Excel Interviews Questions How to Pass Any Excel Assessment Test 1. Conditional Formatting Conditional formatting can be used to highlight cells based on your rules. You can find it in the Home tab, inside the Style section. But our average value is constant, so we should use the absolute cell reference by adding a dollar sign in the middle of the cell address. Spell checking. Spell checking your Excel data is so simple. Go to the review tab and select spelling. It will show you the mistakes and suggest some words as a replacement. Then, you should just select the correct word and click on change. Four, removing duplicated data. Removing duplicated data is an important part of data analysis. In order to do it, go to the Data tab, Data Tools section, and click on Remove Duplicate. Here we had four duplicate values and they got removed. Five, putting a border around our table. First, select your table, then add any kind of border that you like from the Home tab and Font section. You can also highlight some cells using the Highlight tool. Six, most frequently used charts. 
In an interview, they may ask you to name some Excel charts and show how you use them. One simple and quite useful chart is the line chart. You can find it in recommended charts in the insert tab. The line chart can show multiple data sets in one chart. Another useful chart is the column chart. The third one is the pie chart, which can only show one data set, for example, sales or profit over years. You can find the pie chart in the All Charts tab. Seven, different views and their use. Sometimes you want to print your Excel sheet or save it as a PDF file. To see how your document will look and edit it, you can use the options in the View tab. The Page Break Preview will show you the page breaks positions. You can also move page breaks in this view. The page layout view will show you how your printed document will look. You can edit the header and footer in the page layout view. Eight, if function and how to use it. Imagine we have some students and we want to write in a column that they have passed if their score is above 60 or failed if it is below 60. Just remember to write the text inside quotations. Nine, VLOOKUP function and how to use it. VLOOKUP function might look complicated, but it is very simple. The vertical lookup will search for a value and return any value from the same row. In the function variables, the first variable is the value you are looking for and the second variable is your table address where you want to search. The third variable is the number of the column for our function returned value, for example, here it is the second column so we use two. And the function last variable is true or false, true for an approximate match and false for an exact match. Ten, pivot tables and how to use them. Pivot tables are another useful option for data analysis. In this example, we have several cars from different brands, and we want to analyze our data. We can add a pivot table from the Insert tab and Tables section. First, we have to select our chart and it should contain column or row name tags. We can put specifications in columns or rows of our pivot table.
or change values settings. In values settings, we can use sum, count, average, or anything else. Also, we can select how values are shown. For example, we can show values as a percentage of grand total. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.